Right, welcome back. It's time to introduce you to my decal sheet. Now, I've never done my own custom decals before. This will be my first time. So, with some helpful tips off of uh, Coraline off YouTube, aka my good friend Patrick, and uh, Mr. Decal Paper off Amazon, who I bought the decal sheets from, I've gone with white decal paper. Now, what it was is um, for the Thunder logo, I couldn't get the right font. That was the closest I could get, which is a font that WWE used for NXT, and it's called Sycamore. Um, as you can see, it's not 100% close. It's the closest I could find. So I emailed that chap in France, Reme, his name was, who built the RC scratch build. And he sent me um, a couple of screen grabs of the Thunder logo, because that's what he did, and he made stencils. So with my son, Darren with his uh, Photoshop um, wizardry. He's printed me off this decal sheet. Took us a couple of goose to get the size right, but we got there in the end. I've also done some scadabs for the side. The Thunder in Paradise is gonna be for the stand. And then what, basically what I've done is I've uh, sprayed this sheet, after about an hour of drying, I sprayed it with my Citadel Purity Seal and I did three coats over the course of about half an hour drying time between each coat. So this sheet is fully dry, so hopefully, my first time with decal paper, these decals should go down pretty well. Fingers crossed, and touch wood. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. I can actually say, uh, Thunder is all finished. Uh, the filling's been done, it's been reprimed, paint's gone down, um, decals have gone down an absolute treat, and she's all sealed, and I'm really, really well chuffed with the results. So here's the final reveal. Well, there it is, in all its glory. Everything's down, decals, filling's been done, and she's looking absolutely wonderful. So I'll just turn that around a bit more. And there you go. Right. Now when I left you, um, one, I'd done the priming but I had some filling to do in. And I'd just done my decal sheet. So what I did is I uh, filled in at the bottom there, the canopy. Um, did that bit of canopy filling a bit round here as well. I filled in those um, bits, that uh, edges that were exposed slightly on the edge there and I've sanded all that down, it's turned out an absolute treat. So that was that, then I uh, reprimed just the where I'd done a bit of filling, obviously I forgot that as well, around the side of the side pods there, I had to do a bit of filling there and sanding, and like I said I reprimed it. And then with the paint, what I actually used was uh, Sovereign Models Colour Coats US02, which is a pre-war standard deck grey. I was going to use this on my failed Arizona build. I bought about four, to four tins of this. It's enamel. So it took about three coats, plus a few touch-ups here and there. And uh, it's gone down an absolute treat. So I left uh, that to dry for six hours between each coat. Once that was done, I then um, did round the back here. And, uh, you know, once I'd glued everything on. Um, I was wondering what colour to paint the motors in. So I watched um, a couple of episodes of Thunder in Paradise on YouTube. And there was an episode where Hulk Hogan's character was put in prison for a crime he didn't commit. And um, Chris Lemon's character had put the Thunder in for service at the local boatyard. And um, the FBI wanted to impound Thunder. So he tried to get it out of the boatyard, but he wasn't. He didn't get there in time. And it actually had a really good shot of the back area and the motors were black. And the um, propellers, I've done those in gun metal, so that's absolutely perfect finding that episode. So I was actually quite lucky with that. So that's that done. Then once all that was dry, I then uh, got my Tamiya thin curve tape. And then just masked off where I wanted to paint the windows. Just put a left a bit of gappy, you know, in between the front screen there and the side screens. And then just uh, painted on with my normal Revel Black. Um, I only took one coat, and when I got a bit of paint bleed, I had to touch it with a bit of black and a bit of the grey. But it's gone down an absolute treat for those windows, not bad at all. 
So once all that was dry, I then started to work on my decals, which will be the uh, thunder and the separate line. Now, these are the remnants of my decal sheet. The, the top one is my original decal sheet. And as you can see, it's way too dark compared to that. And I'd, I, what, what I did is I just put the thunder ones down. And then I used a bit of my um, Humbra matte coat because I thought it might dull it down a bit to try and match it as best it could. But it really stood out, especially between the, you know, the D and the R and around the back of the U there. So um, we went back onto Sovereign Models website and we saw the little colour um, preview square for this. So we got that off the internet and my son made this decal sheet, well the remnants of it, and as you can see, that is too light. And we tried with the various graves, we just couldn't get it right, so we stuck with the actual Sovereign Models preview square. So, I took the old darker decals off with my Microsol, let that dry, and then put the other th the, the lighter one down. Let that dry. And then what I did, with this USO2 grey, I went round all the edges, because I cut fairly close to the yellow line, but I just left a little, little bit of grey. But once the decals had dried, I had a, like a white edge, because it was white decal paper, so I went round with my grey paint, round the edges, and as you can see, it's really blended in really well. And you can't really tell, even though that decal sheet's lighter, where the D is, and between the U and the R, you can't really tell unless you look really, really close. I mean, on that scattered decal, you can tell. I mean, I've gone round the edges with that. But on the Thunder, you can't. So I'm really quite chuffed, even though that decal sheet's lighter, how well it's blended in. And also, I had a bit of trouble with the line on this side, this line here. When I used the darker decal sheet, I couldn't get it as straight as the lighter one there, you can see. And um, it actually creased in parts and the actual white came through the yellow. But with this de with the lighter grey one, it, it laid down a hell of a lot better. And if I just raise this slightly, you can see the lines actually meet at the front. I'm well chuffed with that. Now coming to this side, um, again, um, that line was separate. So when it came to matching it to the R, I had to overlap it slightly. And then I touched up with a bit of my trainer yellow paint. You can see it's not an exact match, but it covers up that white line that appeared. And like I said, the decals are looking absolutely wonderful. So a massive thank you to my son Darren for his Photoshop wizardry for that. Um, then coming to the back section of the uh, rear of my thrusters, you can just about make out those stripe decals, if I just turn it towards the window. Um, I was originally going to use, I tried to mask it off with some uh, my Tamiya line tape, but it, the lines just didn't come out as nice. So what I did, I had some, I got some spare decals in my little odds and end box that I keep, from every model that I keep, if there's any spare decals, I always keep those spare decals. And basically, off my Jordan build, if you remember from last year or the year before, I had, I had a couple of square carbon fibre looking decals so I just cut those off into one mil strips and put those on but the only trouble is there wasn't long enough when I come to the back section here so I had to overlap two decals to make the one line but they went down really really well I mean they're not like 100% straight but at least you know the grid the grid in there the actual vents look really nice not bad at all so that's that and then last but not least with the decals i got these line decals here. Now if you remember from a couple of years ago from my Del Boy build, the actual uh, Ford Capri, I had some um, pinstripe line decals that I bought from Kitform Services. And I did a three line all the, all the way down the side of the um, Del Boy Capri. Well I got some spare, I got some left, so I just put those line decals in there. I measured them to just over 15 mil a piece. And there's eight lines for each weapons bay door as you can see because if you watch the show they actually fold 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 and then they fold back on each other and then the rocket launcher will come out of there and the gatling gun will come out there not bad at all and then 
sold micro sold those, left them to dry, and then matte coated them. And that's it. Thunder is all complete. I mean, yeah, it's not 100%. Another flaw I want to point out to you, though, another inaccuracy, is that front window here. Now, that longer edge should be on the top, and the smaller edge should be on the bottom. But again, you know, my build isn't 100%, but it's better than nothing, because like I said, there ain't no kit for Thunder, which is an absolute shame, an absolute crying shame. Well, you can buy a, a paper model kit, but I've looked at the results of those and it just doesn't look as nice as a proper, this kit or Reme's RC build on the, on the, on the internet. So I'll just turn this round for one last look at Thunder. And there you go. Not bad at all. Right. Turning this round. Um, I want to take this moment to give a massive thanks to uh, my son Darren for his Photoshop wizardry with them Thunder decals because I'm absolutely fantastic. And also to Reme for his uh, blog and also him sending me his screen grabs of the Thunder logo. So if you look at the uh, description box below, you'll see a link for my son Daz's YouTube page, which is Holy's anime unboxings because he loves his anime. And I'll also put a link in for the um, Reme's Thunderbolt blog build for his RC version of Thunder. Also, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page to look at some of his photos and the actual YouTube video he's put on where he's put it on a, a, like a small lake or something. And it's pretty swift, actually. It's quite fast. Well, anyway, there's my rambling over. Um, as usual, I'll put some stills on. Hopefully, I haven't bored you too much and see you fairly soon with my next build. Thank you very much for watching.